Hi, today is Tuesday, September 23rd, and this will be my first actual talking video since G3 started. This is for you, Chris Allwell. I know you'll be proud of me. Um, in Guatemala, it was just a little too difficult to make videos because my room was so small and there wasn't really a common area besides um, an outdoor patio. It just wasn't conducive for, for talking videos. Um, I arrived in Guatemala August 22nd, and if some of you may already know that my entire trip had to be rearranged a week before I left for G3 because of Russia's invasion of Georgia. So now Georgia will be last. I am still going. I booked my ticket today, so that's still a go. Um, but unfortunately, my Spanish was not up to the level I needed it to be while in Guatemala. And I worked with, at the Guadaria with ages two to three um, because there's no way I could have helped anyone with math homework or history or anything else. My Spanish level was definitely not that good. Um, and these kids were great to work with. Um, just to see their personalities developing at that age, and they were the first to correct my Spanish words. It was very adorable. Um, I did make a couple of videos with them. I, I'm sure you can go see them look in the archives. Um, let's see what else. I am in Ghana right now. I arrived last night and today was my first full day. And there's a six hour, I believe it's a six or seven hour time difference from, from Guatemala to Ghana. And I have just been on and off napping today, just really tired trying to catch up on my sleep. Um, but I did go to the clinic, the Focus Clinic today took a tour of that. I will be going tomorrow for my first full day. Um, and then sometime before the end of the week, I'm supposed to be meeting with an architect. His name is Victor. I'll be helping two days a week with him just on plans uh, for a hospital that they're building. It, the construction should be complete 2010. So I'll just help develop these plans give my suggestions. I'm, I'm not sure if they're on AutoCAD or how we'll be doing these drawings. I'm sure it's somehow computer generated. Um, and then I'll be at three days a week at the clinic. So let's see. I'm going to take a quick tour around um, the house that I'm staying at. It's the guest house of Focus. So um, you'll see I kind of had to rig the stand that my camera's on with a laundry basket and books. All right, so this is the dining area. This is what I have had my camera on. I just bought this book. I know it's like been on the bestsellers list for a while, but I finally got that in London when I was at the Heathrow Airport. So this is where I've had my meals. It is kind of lonely, I have to admit. Um, I'm used to having my flatmates in Guatemala, and we all eat together. And so the last two nights, dinner's been kind of lonely. I do have a personal chef. His name is Seth. He's been cooking some really good meals. He just cooks my dinner and then I cook the rest of my food. Like today for lunch I had soup. Let's see. The lights take a little longer to turn on. There we go. Alright, so this is my personal kitchen. There's a second kitchen on the other side of the house um, where the chef actually cooks. So let's see. Here's the laundry room. I'm not going to bother turning on the light for in here. But that has been huge for me. I don't remember the last time I've had my own washer and dryer. Um, in Guatemala, we had to drop off our laundry as well. So these are all the snacks that I brought with me either from the States or I bought in Guatemala before I came. Um, oh, this is like for lunch stuff for me. And these, oh, by the way, I bought five of these in Guatemala for six consales. Here, the same thing, 95 CDs, which is almost one US dollar. So I'm glad I stocked up on that. Boxes of cereal, like 10 CDs, which is almost like $10. Crazy. And this is my little laptop, a little work area. Okay, I'll take you to my room. This is the front door of the guest house, a little sitting area which is wonderful as well. We had no sitting areas um, in Guatemala in our homes. All right, this is my bedroom. There used to have being lots of volunteers here, um, lots of surgeons, doctors, nurses. So they had these bunk beds um, 
which is a lot for me, but that's my little bed. I have two real closets here, which is nice, almost a luxury for me. My travel books that Nancy let me borrow. I had to get my O magazine um, when I was in London as well. The U.S. Today. Actually, I got that DFW. Um, I had a long, long flight. All right, so that's my closet. Um, my flight was from Guatemala City to DFW where my mom and one of my best, best friends, Sherry, met me, which was awesome. They brought me some Texas barbecue from Dickie's. We had lunch right there at the airport. This is my bathroom, by the way, which is nice. Although I do have to hold the handheld shower head, which reminds me of Egypt when I lived there. A clear sign <laughs> says... Do not brush teeth with tap water. Use bottled water only. Um, so anyway, yeah, my mom brought me barbecue and a bunch of little snacks to bring to Guatemala. I mean, to Ghana, like granola bars, things like that. Sherry uh, brought me homemade chocolate chip cookies that are to die for. Thank you so much. Um, this is the little living room TV. I haven't had one of those in a long time either. Got a couple of good books. I actually have already looked through these books. Um, Ghana, Portrait of Ghana, really awesome. My guidebook that I have been searching through, trying to make a list of things I want to do. Goodness. And this is the other kitchen, which it's, I think they have it shut. But anyway, that's where the cook, or where the chef cooks. Um, this is the other side of the house. There are just more bedrooms. There's like bedrooms everywhere. Um, and this is the second level. There's also a first level, which I haven't been through yet. And then there's the main house with uh, where Dr. Boachi, who started Focus, where he lives when he comes here. I haven't seen the inside of that either. Um, other than that, my time here has been great. G3 has been awesome. There have been a few ups and downs of just feeling homesick and, you know, just wanting, wanting like food that I crave like sushi or good salmon that my friend Ann makes. That's to die for. Um, a good bottle of wine, which actually we did go to a wine tasting in Guatemala, which was awesome. Um, I did get to have some good wines. So I guess I can't really complain about that so much now. Um, and I guess that's about it. I think I'm running out of time, so I should probably wrap it up. But do read my blog if you have a chance. Um, I know it's probably tedious, lots of details, but I just want to try to reveal what my life has been like. And it is very different being in Ghana today. I'm still wanting to say gracias and hola, como estas to everyone that I see. So it's, again, just trying to change my mindset and... It's, it's been a very cool experience, so stay updated. I promise to have more videos. I'm just hoping that I can take as many as I did in Guatemala because here they seem a little more cautious about having my camera out and taking videos or pictures. A lot of people, a lot of local people are against that if you whip out your camera. That's what I've been told. So I'm kind of hesitating right now. Um, but hopefully I will have some good videos to post, pictures as well. Oh, also the airport, we're right next to it. I don't know if you hear the airplane. It's so loud. All right, stay tuned. Uh, catch up on my blog at www.g3adventures.wordpress.com, and I'll see you soon. Bye.